Good afternoon. It wasn't until I uh, saw my brother with this nice suit on that I realized why he called me and told me to wear a dark brown suit. He didn't say that. I just couldn't think of a better lie to start off with. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, which one's who was the mayor? You were. Thank you for being here. You not only honor this church, but you honor our fellowship, the Assemblies of God, with your presence. This church must have did something that would cause you to come here today. And I just personally want to say thank you for being with you. Again, put your hands together for the Lord. Chairman of the Fellowship, Dr. Uh, Taito, thank you. We just finished our men's conference yesterday, over 18, almost 2,000 men were together. We've been preparing for this for a year, then this week, and, and I told Dennis, I, I won't be there Sunday. It was just, you know, my brother. I came home yesterday, I took a little nap, got up, and then I tried to go to bed and I couldn't go to sleep. So one or so this morning, I was still up, and uh, but I thought about this church. I thought about you wonderful folks. The privilege I have of being a part of your lives. And uh, got up, said, we got to go. Linda says, let's go. And I wanted some of my grandchildren to come. I was trying to get as many of them as I could. They were gone. You know, they're, they're teenagers now, so they have other things. But two of them said that, we'll go with you, Papa. So I, had, I waited for, for them not long. They got dressed really fast. But I wanted them uh, uh, to be here with me. So these are two of my eight granddaughters and two of my 13 grandchildren, Kaylin and Cammy. Would you stand, please? Thank you. And, and I really appreciate uh, Dennis talking about uh, how my high title and the highest ranking person in here. But, but having been married for 38 years, <laughs> let me introduce you to the highest ranking person in here. This is my wife, Linda, honey, would you stand, please? I'm not going to get in trouble going home. But for now, these are your former leaders. Some were national leaders, some were our district leaders. Brother Finau and Brother Lewoki, uh, Cameron, and, Ka and Ka remember the gentleman I took with all the grandbabies? He's the gentleman in the white suit. <laughs> I said, y'all think we got a lot of grandbabies. I'm going to introduce you to somebody today. He hasn't heard. I mean, he... The Calfusi is here. Thank you for being here. Um, well, the Sioni wasn't not one of you, but he is just my good friend. Ever since he drove me around Tonga and showed me all the things that he built and uh, <laughs> the big Methodist church that he used to pastor. I mean, you know, it's just... I didn't realize how great Sioni was until I, you know... <laughs> I'm glad that he is here. Sister V is here. Her husband was our first Tongan leader. Sister V, it is always so nice to see you and uh, your little son, Isaiah. God bless both of you for, for being here. He gave me this watch for my 60th birthday. You know, my other friends used to give me stuff, but I couldn't wear it because it was always stolen, you know? But thank you. Thank all of you for just for being here. But I think, and all the rest of you pastors and my friends, thank you for being here to honor this couple. Thank you, Dennis, for what you uh, had to say. He has such a tender heart. I told him, if I ever get sick, call him, because if nothing else, I know he'll cry. <laughs> are, you, are you guys twins? Your brothers? Really? How old are you? 19 and 20. Y'all married? I'm always looking, man. <laughs> Y'all love Jesus? You love Jesus? Oh, right, you love Oh, yeah, we, we might have to talk sometime. <laughs> Two good-looking Tongan young men. Yeah, see, I found this morning, you know what, you can love Jesus or be Tongan and get to heaven. You know, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> but my dear friend, Brother Samisi, I just want to say thank you personally to you for coming here, filling in, being here, I just say, God bless you. God bless your lovely bride. 
Uh, you've not honored this, just honored the church, but this district and my office. Thank you so much for all that you've done. Would you put your hands together? Amen. Today we come to celebrate the appointment of uh, Brother Pisa Tupa to be the pastor of this church. So this service is an official service of installation. We recognize both the call of God and the support of you, this congregation. And he will lead this church for a season. Pastor Viliami and Faye led this congregation for a season. Former pastor, former chairman of the Tongan committee, and we thank God for his leadership. But his season is over as a pastor and a new pastor will come in and lead for a season. Let me begin by saying a pastor is not a hireling. But a person chosen by God. And it's confirmed by the expression of his people. Under the guidance of the Good Shepherd, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So publicly today, I just want to share three items that are symbols to this couple. And each, each item will speak to the role of a pastor in leading a church. This church is not just here for you. The church is here for this community. Pastor Pig San Mali, would you come and just stand in front of me, please? It has been a privilege, I want you to know, for me to work with this couple. Rarely have I seen such grace and humility in a couple. <laughs> Every time we would meet, his, their only comments were, we just want to serve. So, Pastor, today, the first symbol I want to give you, it's a towel. It's, it's, it symbolizes that of a servant. Amen. The Bible says Jesus took a towel and he washed and dried the disciples' feet. Amen. He is our example of a servant. The Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 4.1 Let a man regard us in this manner as servants of Christ. Amen. Pastor, be a servant leader of this church. With Christ as your example. Amen. I'm going to give you a Bible. Most of you don't know that a pastor can never have enough Bibles. We just love Bibles. I'm going to give you this Bible. It's God's Word. This flock does not need fancy entertainment. 
koe fangasi pio ka ngina fema na tole ha or even ha no faka fia fia ya na tole ka ngahi me faka fia fia or even sophisticated programs to ka ngahi me a faka ngai ko ka lama pe fai itu ape they need the word of god amen now fia mau na to we are koe for for i put up so preach the word ko ya malanga e for for i for for feed the flock May each week you break the word of life. To this, to this congregation. I give you this vial of oil. Oil represents the anointing of God. May his anointing be sought in everything you do. May his anointing be fresh each time you pray, preach, and minister. And may you say to this congregation what Jesus said in the temple in Nazareth. And may they see this in your life. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because He has anointed me. Let His Spirit empower and enable you to minister to those He has placed in your care. Do you accept these symbols and pledge yourself to lead God's people with wisdom, vision, passion, and purpose? I want to say something to those of you that are credentialed ministers here as a part of this fellowship. Some credentialed ministers are frustrated. Some are jealous. Some intentionally and unintentionally try to undermine the new shepherd. So I want to encourage you as Aaron and her lifted up the arms of Moses. Lift up and hold up the arms of this pastor. Serve with him in the ministry of this church. May he always sense you at his side. Helping to encourage and carry out the vision God has given to him for this church. I want to say this to the advisory committee. Always remember that the prime responsibility of a deacon is to be a person of faith. A person of character and to be filled with the Spirit of God. And remember that your title calls on you to serve. And in your serving, your ministry will be fulfilled. Mm. Now to the congregation. Acts 2.42 says, In fact, it describes the activities of the early church. It says they devoted themselves to teaching, fellowship, the breaking of bread, and prayer. I don't care what your culture is. If you focus on these things, you won't have time to fight and disagree. So I ask you to commit to God's word. 
Be involved in deepening relationships. Break bread with one another. Be a people known for prayer and answered prayer. Pray for each other. Pray for leadership. Pray for your pastor. And remember as you are equipped, you are the ones to do the work of the ministry. And then finally, will you allow Pastor Peace at first to be a husband? The pastor, I want to talk right to you. Listen to your wife. I wish I could speak Tongan because then I'd tell you again in Tongan. Listen to your wife. Biggest mistake I made cost me $30,000. You know why? I didn't listen to my wife. God has given them a sensitivity to the spirit and to people that you and I will never have. If she says somebody means you harm, don't even debate it. <laughs> the two most powerful words in any marriage. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> Sometimes we pastors think more highly of ourselves than we ought. People used to ask me, how come Linda doesn't preach more? And I would tell them she preaches every week, she just uses my lips. Listen to your wife. Pastor. Take care of you and her. Pastor came to visit me just a few months ago. He said his culture didn't believe in vacations. And he, he had been in our country over 15 years plus. Never took his wife on vacation. And I looked at him. I said, you know, you have a pretty wife. I said, there are some men in your church that are praying for her. <laughs> They're praying that you will die and they can take your place. I said, so you go ahead and work yourself to into a box. And I guarantee I'm going to say some nice things. <laughs> and I'll probably be there when your wife gets married again. <laughs> Within a month, he was on a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying, Dennis? In fact, he's going on two cruises. Let him, let him be a husband to his wife. Let him be a father to his children. Where are those three no votes? <laughs> Where are they at? Where are, where, is it? where are your three children? Where are they? Come on over here. I'll go over sandwich with your mom and dad. Come on over here. Where's the other two? One? Two? Come on. And see, y'all don't know when y'all had that vote the other night, there was three no votes. Go ahead, 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 go ahead
Let me tell you why they voted no. They know the father works very hard. And they're not willing to sacrifice him to this ministry. Don't you expect this man to give his life for this church? Somebody else already died for the church. My children love Jesus. But it's because I had to work for a while as I pastor. But I took time for my wife and time for my three children. Y'all need to help him to be a good husband and to be a good father. And allow him to be your pastor. Allow him to be your pastor. Don't, don't, don't come to him trying to impress him with this is what God has told me. And then ask him, what do you think? <laughs> pastor, if anybody comes to you, I'm telling you right now, if anyone comes to you and says, this is what God told me, what do you think? Tell him, I agree with you. Because God's already spoken. Even if you disagree, just say, I agree. But if they come and say, Pastor, something's going on, I don't even know what it is, would you pray with me about it? I say, yes, I will. Allow his children to be children. Let them be who they are. As imperfect as they will be. There's not a man or woman in this building that has children that are perfect. Unless your name is Mary and you still ain't Mother Mary. You know, every now and then, just walk up to his children and shake their hands. Just give them a little money or something. <laughs> Daddy says, my father used to say, you can always tell someone who's always given people a piece of their mind. He said, because they always walked around like they had lost something. <laughs> Pastor, your first ministry is to those people that are standing around you. Amen. You get to heaven and they're not with you, you ain't going to be all that happy. Honor your pride. I don't know a lot about her, but I know one thing. She's a woman of prayer. You wouldn't be standing here if she wasn't. Mele wasn't a woman of prayer. I've watched her respond to you in my office. She has a look on her face when she looks at you. I don't even know how you can handle it, brother. <laughs> but five years from now, I want to see that same look on her face. Dennis, come join me. In the Assemblies of God Fellowship, nothing is official until you get a plaque. <laughs> You can talk all day, but unless you get a plaque, it ain't it ain't happening, brother. <laughs> so I want to present to you a certificate, and then I want to pray over the two of you, and I'm going to ask these men and women of God to come and stand around you. Y'all some beautiful hey, looking hey, children. Hey, this plaque says, this is a certificate of installation presented to Reverend Visa Tupa. 
Pastor of Tongan Christian Assembly of God, East Palo Alto, California. And the scripture that is here says, and he and he himself gave pastors and teachers for the equipment of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ. Ephesians 4, 11 and 12. It is, it is dated Sunday, March 22nd, 2015. It is signed by our district superintendent, Reverend James R. Brady, our assistant district superintendent, myself, Samuel M. Huddleston, and our secretary of treasurer, Dr. J. A. Herndon. <laughs> Can I ask Linda and Linda, my wife Linda and his wife Linda, to stand with Mele, please? I'm going to ask some of you pastors, why don't we all stand? Which we're going to pray over them. I'm going to ask the pastors, would you come gather around them? And, uh, <laughs> Our chairman, Reverend Taito, would you come up here and lead this prayer, please? Why don't we all stand? If you're able to stand, would you do so? I know some of you can't, but if you're able to stand. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The my mouth of a time of a malog and fiona. Could we go proclaim half hour and fiona? Maukawa here. For what? Negos for do do pego and me come at Anna. Compressa to papa, Momele to buy Hokoyo with Fife Cow. But just Tom and Christian. Fellowship Assembly of God is for what? Maha tuhe alafion, goho opol kalama, koi maulo tu e fakakakato pe. Maha o hiki hake e faifikau koi ni, o aba moe fana uhe awe afion. O kore pani mohu ae afion, moho loto loto nga he na mohu i. He koi mei e lama e ui maru nga e afion, Om mau kato ang ay fiesta. Fafeta ay ko yung mau ilo, mau tau yung tuwang kuy. O wika iliu ay afion na wika tau pe ane afin, pagpihe pe ni ahon, pagpihe pe ni tanati. Tago palomesi o fofolang mau tuwa yung hawa ko yung. O tayo fa manatu pe ni afion na, asita mayo ikin. Pesa tupa ko yung fai fikao. Just to remind you, O oh God, of your promises. Just want to lift them up to you, O oh God. A fullness of anointing will not marry man on the field. Take a take in now. Ma wai pe he na tuha ke he na tau tu ifo he na hua tu he na umai he na tokoto ifo ke ufe ufe afiona na mo ui me olunga me tapaki me mu ape mo mu he ko palomesi ya ososo. Father God, we believe the promises of your word. That you will never leave us nor forsake us. You will be with them until the end of this. Calling us on the highest call, O Yeh. Malunga nge he ui o Palestine. Hallelujah. Malunga nge he ui i hato e kautaha o ngoa he mama nge. Praise the Lord. Kako e ui ke ngawe fa seva niti ma yafi. Amen. Oh God, I thank you for the done of wisdom words 
from the leaders of our district. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank we you. receive it, not only Besson Tupani's family and wife, yes. but all of us, the pastors and the leaders of the Tongan Pharaohs, and your people, oh God, we receive those wisdom words to our life. So when we leave today, we are encouraged. We want to serve you with all our heart and mind and soul and our spirit. For the time of Romano, I give you all. Amen. To God, to our family, 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 Amen. To our family, 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 only when it seemed good to your Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And as the leaders. It seems good to us. That's what yes. you Hallelujah. But for the time of my Lord, I have for you. I Hallelujah. Amen.